Hello everybody, it's been a while since I post the last video, right? Okay, if in the last video I'm talking about the worst release opening in film, which you can watch here, in today's video I will talk about the film Free Guy, released in the US on 13th of August 2020. Have you heard of it? Free Guy tells a story about a guy named Guy, a science fiction action comedy film. He works as a bank teller alongside his best friend and a bank security guard buddy. The background story involves a video game, and that's all I can say. The main cast of Free Guy are Ryan Reynolds, Jodie Comer, Joe Keery, and Lil Rel Howery. There's a lot of cameo consisting of gamers, streamers like Jacksepticeye, Ninja, Pokemon, Dan TDM, and Laser Beam. Not to mention, actor Chris Evans is also in the film. The film is directed by Sean Levi. His previous work includes Night at the Museum series as director and Stranger Things as director slash executive producer. Okay, he already working with Joe Keery in Stranger Things before, so I guess that's one of the reasons why Joe Keery is cast in this film. That's how it works, right? The plot is in chronological order, but they left hints here and there to keep the audience as known as me curiously waiting for the ending to finding out what happened. Editing aspects of this film Hmm, I think they did a great job with the visual effects because, whoa, they must be putting a lot of budget into this, seeing how it turns out. In a good way, of course. Why did I pick this movie, you ask? The film has grossed $332 million worldwide, making it the ninth highest grossing film of 2020 and received generally positive reviews from critics. Yeah. But what makes it so special? I think clever concept and combination of other popular films such as Ready Player One, The Truman Show, and The Matrix. This film is using many and many references from other movies and video games, and a lot of marketing strategies too, and I think that's what makes this film a success. But if I were to rate this film, I would give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Why? There are super cheesy scenes and comedies that I don't think it's appropriate in just a moment when watching it. And the excessive use of making it popular, like putting other voice cameos including Tina Fey, Hugh Jackman, Dwayne Johnson, and John Krasinski that I don't even notice they were there. In conclusion, I prefer watching The Matrix and The Truman Show all over again than watching Free Guy. But if you're the type of person who loves the combination of video games, Marvel references, and just enjoy the cameos in the film, I think you will taste this film. That's it for my review of Free Guy 2020. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!